Hey guys, and welcome to the summit. I know what you're thinking. Zach, you sexy beast, what are you doing in this room? What happened to your old set? I will assure you guys that nothing happened to my old set, and I'm going to tell you why I'm in this room at the end of this video. This, as you know, is my most anticipated movies of 2017, so let's get into the list. This list might be a little different than most of the ones that you've seen out there on YouTube so far, so brace yourselves. Friday the 13th. We're finally getting another Friday the 13th movie. This movie has been in development hell since 2009. I've been dying for a new Friday the 13th movie. It's one of my favorite franchises. Jason's one of my favorite killers. I'm so excited that October 13th of this year, we're getting a new Friday film. Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am for this film. The teaser trailer is gorgeous. Dane DeHaan looks like he's killing it yet again. This is the first movie from Luc Besson since Lucy, and Lucy didn't do that well. It was an okay film, and I really like this director. This is the director of The Fifth Element, one of my favorite movies of all time. I can't not put this on the list. What's next? What's that? Oh yeah! It's yeah, morphin time. time! Guys, Power Rangers is on the list! Oh, love the background. I've been excited for this movie ever since the Bond made the announcement that you're teaming up with Lionsgate and they're going to be making a new Power Rangers film. I've loved everything that they've released so far. I really like the trailer. I'm a fan of the original series. I've seen a lot of Power Rangers, maybe a little bit too much. Um, I'm just really excited. I was a 90s kid, Power Rangers was my thing. And the fact that they're bringing in a new Power Rangers for all the kids now, with the original characters that we grew up with, just tweaked a little bit differently. I'm super excited! Your inner 90s kid can't not be excited for the Power Rangers movie. Next up guys, we have Justice League. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the fact that we had a Batman versus Superman movie. I'm a huge DC fan, and the fact that we get to see all these larger than life characters from DC on the big screen is just insane to me. We get Wonder Woman, we get Aquaman, finally, and we're getting a really cool Aquaman with Jason Momoa. Uh, one of the best Batman I think I've ever seen in Ben Affleck. Like, that's my comic book Batman right there. The only thing that they could do in this movie that would make me even more excited is the fact that they would have Green Lantern in it because I'm a huge Green Lantern fan, guys, and if there is just one little mention of Al Jordan in this movie, I'm going to be all about it. You ready for a curveball, guys? Here we go. Triple X, the return of Xander Cage. Well, I'll let you guys know right now. I'm not the biggest fan of the Fast and Furious series. Um, I like the first three. Um, I saw the fourth one in theaters, and then I just kind of lost interest in it when it stopped being about racing cars. Um, Vin Diesel's good in it, but I actually like the first Triple X movie a lot more than the first Fast and the Furious movie. Why I'm anticipating this release is the fact that State of the Union was not that great. Ice Cube is not what they needed for this franchise, and the fact that they have Vin Diesel returning as Xander Cage once again puts a lot of pressure on this franchise to put out a really good movie, so that's why Triple X is on this list. It. Guys, there's a lot of pressure on this movie to perform really well with the fans because you're taking an iconic character like the creature from It, played by the amazing Tim Curry, one of his greatest performances, one of the best horror performances of all time. The movie, say what you want about it, about the original, I say that the first half is a lot better than the second half, and I'm actually looking forward to this one. I liked all of the images that we've seen so far from this movie, and if it's scary, like some of the images that I've seen, like the one that they took down with it holding the holding the balloon, that looked terrifying when it was kind of out of focus, but he was still there. Um, if it's anything like I think it's gonna be, I think we're gonna have a really good, solid horror film here in 2017. 
Hey guys, I completely forgot about Ridley Scott's Alien Covenant. It's supposed to be a sequel-ish to Prometheus 2. We don't know yet. It might be more along the lines of Alien, Aliens, and Alien 3. So I'm really excited if it goes back to those roots. Ridley Scott, let's kill it in 2017. Okay, here's another one that you guys probably weren't thinking about. Death Note, the American live-action version. Guys, this is being directed by Adam Wingard. I'm really excited for this. There have been some Japanese live-action versions of Death Note, and they say it's really, really good. I haven't seen any of those movies. I believe there's four of them. Guys, this is an amazing cinematic anime, and I'm really happy that they're turning it into an American version for us to check out. If you want to know what this anime is like without checking it out on Netflix, which I strongly, strongly suggest, the writing is on par with Breaking Bad. Every single episode of this anime will have you on the edge of your seat wanting to know what's going down because it's just that good. Wonder Woman. This one, again, has a lot of pressure on it. This is DC's first female-led superhero film in a long time. Yeah, we got one before. It was called Supergirl. And it sucked. DC is making a female-led superhero film before Marvel, and I think they're gonna knock it out of the park. Everything that I've noticed in the trailer looks great. Say what you want about Gal Gadot, but I think she's one of the best parts of Batman v Superman, and I'm really excited to see her character in her own solo movie. My last film that I'm really looking forward to in 2017, you knew it was gonna be Fifty Shades Darker. Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> no! <laughs> that is not the movie that I'm looking forward to the most. Guys, you know it's Star Wars Episode 8. I've seen every main Star Wars movie in theaters. I actually got lucky and saw the re-releases in the 90s of the original ones. So I've seen all seven movies, minus Rogue One, which I still haven't seen yet, in theaters. I don't look up information when it comes to Star Wars. I think I watched two of the trailers for Star Wars The Force Awakens. I didn't want to know anything about this movie. I haven't looked up anything for Star Wars Episode 8. All I know is it's supposed to pick up right after the last one ended. And that's vague enough. I don't need to know anything else about this movie. Hopefully it's not a retread of Seven, which pays homage to some of the more popular films in the franchise and goes in a new direction. I want to see them, you know, hit new milestones in the Star Wars film. So guys, that is my list of most anticipated films of 2017. What's your list? Did you like what's on mine? Let me know down in the comments down below. Now, as I said at the very beginning of this video, I'm gonna tell you why I'm in this room. Okay, so ignore the mess in my room. This is the normal thing that you usually see. Um, hold on, turn it around. See, there I am. Um, not as in focus as normal probably, but that's usually what you see. It's probably too dark, but um, Here's my green screen. This is where I usually film my stuff And I just want to tell you guys that we're gonna go around the corner here and walk into the brand new Movie room. We got some Marvel love here as you would noticed, There was no Marvel on the list. I'm not saying I'm not excited for those films, but you know what? <laughs> I, I do like some Marvel characters. Daredevil's probably my favorite. Um, yeah, but this is going to be uh, a new area that you're going to see in some of my uh, videos. Um, there's the guitar I've been working on for a while. Batman. Um, but yeah, guys. This has been my 2017 most anticipated list. I'll put you guys down. I hope you like this video, guys. I hope you like the new movie room. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram because you know I have them. But most importantly, guys, this has been Zach versus the Blu-ray map. Stay metal, my friends.